what's up guys this is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Mysore and in this episode we are having a significant naval engagement against the United Provinces and this is right off the back of me <laughs> recording um, my latest episode is with Bavaria where I just completely cocked up a naval battle so here's hoping that doesn't happen again uh, <laughs> got a number of first rates plus a few rocket ships and the rocket ships I'm interested to see how they play out they can be quite dangerous in that they, well my understanding is they can just mast and set on fire from quite a long way away, relatively. So they could cause some problems, um, but let's get my firsts and heavy firsts up front. Always like to try and have my admiral not be right at the front. Backed up by my seconds and my thirds. So part of what I think well, I was about to say what screws me up. No, what I mess up with naval battles is the second ship in... Well, they, my formation gets cut, and then all the ships... So say if they get cut here, all my other ships behind the line stop when they need to keep sailing. So I'm going to try to not... Well, I'm going to try and keep my distance a little bit better than I normally do, but it looks like they are going to come more or less quite at me so let's keep keep my platform steady I don't sell too far ahead looks like they are coming directly into me it's got the heavy first rate de Zeven Provincien which is my current heavy first rate <laughs> which I've already captured one of uh, but yeah we are looking to try and capture as many of their heavy ships and first rate ships of the line as we can. Yeah, the rocket ships could be problematic. I mean, I've, I'm not, I haven't done, a, haven't played with rocket ships a huge amount. But yeah, what I'm going to do though, is I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back when we're a bit closer to the actions. So I'm, I'm bringing you guys back a little early, just so you can see their rocket ships are actually gunning for the line. They've split away from their main formation and appear more interested in trying to charge the rear of my line. And it would also appear that their formation wants to move as well, so I'm going to have to pivot. Rockets are inbound, but they are about to be within range of my heavy hitters so whatever advantage they get from their rocket forces actually what I think I might want to do ultimately is kind of no I want to try and loop around this way I think yes yeah, so they're getting their rockets off against me. No one's currently on fire yet. Well, my Admiral's flagship's on fire, so let's just set fire at will off. Same with this fellow. He's definitely on fire. Well, he's shown. No, that's just the impact. That's just the leftovers of the attack. My Admiral's flagship's definitely on fire. I mean, ultimately, I don't think going this way is... Eh, it might be. Eh, I need to close the distance a lot more aggressively than I'm currently doing. It's not. That's not terrible. I think if I go too far looping around, I lose a lot of my firepower early on. But at least for now, they're currently going after my Admiral's flagship. make sure everyone that's yeah they've set a couple of ships on fire but I'm barely confident that my broadsides or my fire from my heavy ships will eventually do what needs to be done which is a bit frustrating that some of my ships are could do some good work currently a little bit screwed yeah that's not a great manoeuvre I do, I do actually think this is probably the better manoeuvre in the long run. Follow the wind. Because then if they try to pierce my line, 
these ships should start to be heading around in this direction. There you go. Flagship, you're no longer on fire, so you can engage. Oh, you're on fire again. very frustrating. Yeah, let's speed up time, because ultimately if I'm just going to be firefighting against rocket ships, in general I think I am doing the right thing in looping back around. What? Wait, what? My admiral has surrendered to these rocket ships. Interesting. In which case then... These ships get ready to turn. It would appear. Oh no, don't do that. It looks like. Yeah, my Admiral's. Oh no. Full speed away from the burning ship. These ships get ready to engage. This entire formation head south. Yeah, that's unfortunate. You're on fire. My Admiral's flagship's blown up from rocket ships. It doesn't really matter what you guys do now. I'm gonna have to try and knock out these rocket ships, because that, I mean, that's quite impressive. There are lots of these ships. Keep gunning them down. Because they've already changed their mind about sailing into us. They're going after this ship, Medusa, who's going to be fireable on... I'm pretty good. They're setting all the ships on fire. And they've just mastered one of my ships. Interesting. Fire broadside, so whatever guns you got. Reload, fire again. These guys need to be knocked out. You're, st you're still on fire. You're still on fire. Taking it on. You guys all just sail on at full speed. I mean, it's quite it is quite impressive to be honest. I do like these. Right, so you're on fire. Two of my ships are on fire. Three of my ships are on fire. Fortunately, they're all already on fire. Privateer that's gunning for the line, which they can do because my ships are currently not in their best position to repel them. Some of their ships are beginning to heave to. You're definitely going down. The second these ships can open up, they need to open up. Okay, good. You're ready to go, you're not, you are, but you're not actually in a position to do anything useful. These ships need to get up into a better position. So you're still on fire, you are on fire, fire it off, you are still on fire. Interesting really, those fire, those uh. Rockets have done good. 
Okay, so Heavy First is starting to get within firing range. Let's check my ships that can engage. Sailing on. I mean, you, you guys should put out your fires fairly soon. I mean, you want a broadside. Do you need to take out that rocket ship? There goes the rocket ship. So now we're pouring shots into the stern of the De Vincien Provincien. So it's. Don't fire your broadside. You can, but it will be at quite long range. I just completely whiffed it as well. That's okay. Keep firing round shot. Some of these ships. Get them to push around behind my line in between the gaps. You're gonna pivot. Are you still on fire? You're still on fire. These two ships are still on fire. At least they're both on fire together. Yeah, unfortunately, if I'd like you to try and fire, I mean, you can't really fire round shot. No, you are going to stay. You're going to stay in the fight. Keep firing at will into the heavy first rate. Your fire's under control. So fire as she bears. Your fire's still raging. But yeah, we've got a lot of... We've got some good... A good little f setup here to pour fire into the heavy first rate from their stern. Some of these smaller ships might not be so happy about it. She's not in a position yet to blast her with chain. Yeah, in general, actually, I do think you want to join these ships scooting along ahead. You're going to push up to fill in the gap. Same with you. I mean, you should be already firing at will into that ship. You are no longer on fire. Rocket ship blew up. You're not on fire. Get ready to fire a chain to her masts. Okay, got a good little crossfire going on, I think, here. But these two ships just keep pounding. You're on fire, but you've been on fire for a while. Keep pivoting, keep firing your guns. Ultimately, you've got I'm going to keep this broadside ready to fire chain. Although I should just fire round shot just to get the volley fired, then reload. Because their pr progress is quite glacial. Yeah, these ships just need to mosey on into more protected shores. If you mosey on forward... To be honest, your days are numbered, so you might just fire. I don't know, fire round shot, why not? You're pummeling Hopskenberg, the heavy frigate. Some of these ships have to take the fire of the heavy burst. As it looks like she is resisting. Looks like she is, well, she is managing to turn, so... You've got to do this the old-fashioned way. So 
lost her main mast. I mean, I've got some of these ships that are trying, in a way, to cut them off, but they're rather slow. You push ahead. You push ahead. Can't really do too much more than just keep blasting her with round shots until she submits. The second rate's going to go down. So let's get ready. Pivot this ship just to get the broadside in. Reload. Blast. Reload. The likes of you to the rear, able just to pop shots off at will. It's going to take a while to thin out this fellow. You're blocking things up rather nicely. Keep sailing these ships on the head. Another broadside fully decked out. Fire. I mean, I'm surprised the second rate's still alive, but alive she is. Alive and kicking. You're no longer on fire. You're sailing into the wind, so I don't expect you to be doing something too much hugely valuable. But these ships, fire at will. Start a fire. Oh no. Bit of a deconfliction challenge here. Pummeling. To be honest, just drop anchor. This third rate, keep plinking. You may even try and sneak up a bit closer to try start to try start to rip down some sails. Water. Okay, fire at will now, because that ship is now acting as a breakwater, or a block is blocking the rest of their fleet. You are going to fire chain, that's for darn sure. So many wasted opportunities here to fire. Foremast. Another mast to the rear has gone down. So, uh, lots of exchanging some gunfire with the heavy first to the rear. My second rate is finally routing. So, let's move up a ship to take their position. Oh, yes, fire. Well, actually, no, fire. If that blows up, that's going to be A, beautiful, B, frustrating. That's why they're hauling ass away from it. There she goes. The brig's wavering. Chain shot to blast away another set of masts, hopefully. Sadly not. Loads your broadside and blast into that tiny ship at point blank range, although it was mostly chain. Surrendered. 
push forward. Are you got shit, you got guns? Yeah, fire chain. You push ahead of this third rate. It's another hulk that's on the hulk, but another ship that's on fire. You're gonna pivot, another fire. You're gonna halt anchor, you're gonna fire chain, you're gonna try pivot the other way to come to end attract from the rear. First rate ship of the line is trying to do stuff. Heave into the wind. Third rate ship. Push. Keep pouring broadsides of the first rate ship of the line. But this is going to get messy rapidly. Groot here, Veld, has lost her foremost. Ooh, we're getting a bit choppy here. No, who? Ah! You keep going. Firing round shot. You keep going. You keep going. Full speed. End of track lost to mast. You ship. Pivot. Try knock out some masts. You pivot. Try knock out some masts. Broadside to the side of her. You drop anchor. Ah, oh, you're retreating anyway. Okay. Lots of these ships to the rear. Sail behind. You're going to have to get stuck in. You're going to free up Van Holland. You start pivoting to engage the ship. There we go. The first rate's been dismasted. You guys drop anchor, fire chain. I don't know why it's getting choppy. That's quite interesting. There you go. They fire the broadside into Osman Saidi. Ah, oh, you fire chain shot. Whoops. You're going to have your broadside ready to rock and roll. Some of these ships are going to try and sail behind. Fire your broadside because that ship's routed. Routing. And she's surrendered. Drop anchor. Keep pouring fire into her. You chaps sail on. So much fire. Lots of, I mean, lots of ships have blown up. There's another one that's blown up. Surrendered. So yeah, you're in a bit of a position because you're currently raking Groot their head. This ship's lost two of her masts, but it's continuing sail. You're going to blast. No one, it seems. So you are going to pivot to try to get into fire into Burg van Leiden. Leiden? Leiden? I mean, so many. Yeah, yeah, a lot of these ships are kind of out of it. Sail forward. There's currently no point in you being sat there. You're firing the chain, which is a bit of a silly thing to do. Okay. Root gear valid. all our masts, but it's continuing to engage. And there's the Admiral. Okay, my 
boy, this ship here is going to sail it. <laughs> sail at half sail to get Akka into position. It's another Dutch ship, but it looks like they're ready to rock and roll. You just drop anchor. Fire chain if you like, so you can fire it over them. We'll fire grape. See if that works. You might just kill your own men, but whatever. Akka's got 40 guns on a starboard battery. Friendly fire be damned. Bang! That's another ship blew up. No! Get out of here! Just surrender, Netherlands. Let me take my prize. Try put out the fire. Oh, just hold sail. <laughs> just, just don't go mad. Spend your time in the relative safety trying to douse that fire. All my other ships sail into an engagement position. You chaps pivot some shots into the heavy first. Fire on sheep bears! Ooh. Took out some of the crew. Karaman Suleiman is beginning to engage with some of her guns. I dare not ask them to engage. Okay, let's do this properly. How many guns have you got left? 105 out of 122. So you're still a danger. Oh, that ship blew up at close quarters. God, this is carnage. Watch, watch out, fella. You're in the you're in the firing line now. Previously, there was a ship in the way. Fire. Still fighting. This is her next target. This third rate ship of the line. You send to that gap. You send to the gap behind her. Fire's been put out. your guns carefully into their stern. Oh, I missed your opportunity to fire. Let's make sure you don't hit the stern of Mr. of Kiskaro. Kosem Isuf. Yeah man, first rate. They don't, they don't screw about. Blast the stone off of that ship. Yeah, these these things are sturdy. Did you, sir? Get into position. It's fought well, very well. Fire. waving because she's finally lost 140 men. It's just good business. It's just good business. What other kind of ball we'll get? So many men in the water from so many exploded ships. Go on, Makasir Ali. Ships. 
surrendered. Finally, she struck her colours. Why did you wait so long? <laughs> that was oh, that was dodgy, but that was a really fun battle. So we want to bring in service first rate, first rate, third rate, heavy first. Not the privateer, not the brig. Got Groot here, Veld. At least she fought bravely. So much so. Superman. Okay, there we go. You could be my new commander, my new flagship. Rem Rembrandt. Rembrandt Eberveld. Oh, I suppose because it's a Dutch ship. <laughs> it's Rembrandt. Put into Antalya. You have done well. Remarkably well. Get this fleet prepared. As well as you can, at least. Good. Okay. Then elsewhere force at Tripoli. Can they leave Tripoli? Minus 10. Absolutely. Recruit one unit of Tufangi. You're still replenishing in Gibraltar. I don't want to push you north. There's nothing currently to do. But yeah, that's okay. Then in the Americas, so we pulled out of Savannah with an idea of advancing do you want to just go for Santo Domingo? We are at war with Spain, so get in there. Okay, I'm just going to auto that. <laughs> there we go. So we've captured another territory in the Caribbean against a token, against a token defense force. Okay. Okay, right. Just can't do anything with you. New Spain is a force of galleons. It's a main Dutch fleet there, but they've they've not done anything since they deposited their army, so I'm content to leave them. Overall, though, things are okay. So let's hit N10. My main fact, my main focus is still the commitment of forces to open up a new front against the United Provinces. As it stands, they are my most significant threat. Expanding in the Americas is is still valuable for the financial opportunities it provides. Ugh. Oh dear. Forgot about that. Forgot about this uh, Dutch fleet. Just see how much damage we can do. Don't mind. I can. These fleets are replenished. They're replenishable. Oh, dang nabbit. I've got this fleet up here that are ready to avenge them. Oh, you, you, they, yeah, they hold the grudge. So they've only got one ship left. Well, they've done pretty well blitzing me out of there. There come the Spanish. They can take that land. Uh, 243 casualties. Not great. Yeah, <laughs> no. We've only just started Spain. We've only just started. Yeah, I would like to expand in the Americas to provide a bit more financial oomph. Oh yeah, Louisiana's a problem now. Well, they can be a problem as much as they like. They don't own much territory. But I wonder if now is the time to start exploring increasing my tax base. I think it could be the time. I think it might be the time. So, how are we doing? Okay, so first of all, heroic death. I mean, so first, okay, first of all, India. So that's kind of why I've got some of these kind of fleets just bobbing about. I mean, you're my a battle fleet. You're ready to rock and roll. You're going to make your way over to East Africa. 
go to one of my actual shipyards. It's a new admiral. So let's get you two more first rates to cover you. Let's. I don't really want to use second rates. I want to get two first rate, two more fourth rates, and start to recruit some fifth rate trade fleets. So fleet destroyed. Fleet destroyed. Fleet arrives. So you are going to land here in Cadiz, Cadiz, and get ready to move on Madrid. See, there's a Spanish army. I was kind of concerned about what forces they could bring to bear. Pull your army. Make sure this army is replenishing. So, Sandy Bay is a dockyard. Upgrade it to a dry dock. Let's try to get some more oomph behind us in Gibraltar. Can I move you guys out at all? Minus four. Not for a couple of turns yet. I mean, I'm going to recruit some levy to act the garrison. Fleet arrives. Ah, so we can go and attack this Dutch force that has interfered with our trade operations here. Oh, it's crashed right into this Greek fleet. Dan Verbale. Right. Let's take out this fleet, then we'll go after that lone Dutch ship in the previous in the theatre in East Africa. Gobble them up. There was a couple of nicer ships in the fleet, but to be honest, they're knackering the United Provinces fleet. Losing the trade zones is it's manageable. I mean, at least you're a nice, speedy fourth rate. This brig, Jupiter, doesn't seem to know what they want to do. But yeah, fourth rates still have their place. So we're going to hobble these ships, take them into our service, send them to America, probably to be refitted. And then we will ship them to a trade zone. Where they will escort good Dutch good no good not Dutch goods. Good Mysorian goods. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna drop chop the recording and bring you guys back in a minute. And here we go. I'm gonna run it at slightly higher speed, at least for now, because ultimately they are exposed to a lot of my ship's fire, so let's just let them have at it. We might not even capture them to be honest. I started to loop around. It looked like they were gonna attack the stern of my formation but it appears that is not the case as it is they are more than happy to simply skirt around at extended range ah there we go now they're turning in in which case then my ship's gonna have even more good fortune let's make sure the ships that are on fire do cease fire lest i have another repeat of uh, what happened in the last battle and ships blowing up left right and center I'm only really speeding this up a bit because clinking at range, it's not the most interesting thing to see. So let's just open fire. Pull you guys off to do something like this, although that is against the wind. Just begin to try and surround the enemy. The little dupe, little brig of war zoomed up. They're going to get some head on shots. Okay, there we go. It's pouring fire into Page Sant and Oost Stellingworth. Stellingworth, Stellingworth. One or t'other. This poor little brig. Have at him, Hems. Poor old 
Jupiter. You're going to start off last in the chain. And you guys that are still committed to the original line, just start sailing like so. Watch out, the brig's going to get behind my third or eighth ship of the line. Knocked off a boast brit. All your guns? No, you've still got a handful of guns. Nothing significant, however. Oh, boost, telling Verf lost her, lost her uh, mizzen. You lost your main. You guys. Oh, that's another foremast gone. Just pummel over the brown shot. Jupiter surrendered from what fire, I don't know, just of her own accord. Yes. You're not in good shape. You are in worse shape. You stay where you are. Let this third race of the line push up. Looks like the brig is sinking. Boost is routing, but they'll probably surrender. Speed up time, because now that one's up. Oh, you come back. We're definitely going to continue. Because I want you to surrender, damn it. There we go. So my fleet's in reasonable condition. They're going to stay well. They're in really good condition, actually. Bring these two forts on strength. And the fourths are going... Well, I suppose if they're going to East Africa, they may as well go back to India. Uh, but yeah, you are not really necessary here anymore. Send you to East... Send you back to India. So fleet arrives, that was you, done that. Fleet arrives, that was you, done that. Fleet arrives... Hello. It's a Dutch heavy privateer. Okay, because I can't send you guys to do this. There is a new Spanish fleet. Bring the fifth rate on strength. There is a new Spanish fleet of ships here. Fifth, fifth, fifth. Okay, right. If I do this. Yeah, so see, we don't lose anyone. Bring the fifth rate into service. A couple of these ships are a bit knackered, so you guys go to Brazil. You guys back to India, rather, not Brazil. Completely wrong side of the continent. You guys get on the trade node. This fleet is in tip-top condition. Be dispatched to West Africa. And the Straits of Madagascar. Uh, okay, so you are a knackered first-rate ship of the line. I'm going to send overwhelming force, but not the entire stack, to bring you into our service. Because, yeah, the, the Dutch seem quite uh, determined on land. So I'm going to want to operate on a outnumber them in as many in every engagement just try to outnumber them and have the qualitative advantage especially as I am unable to impact their economy well I'm currently unable to, to impact their economy once I push on Madrid that may change but until it does I'm going to have to rely on single ship, well not single ship engagements, but 
picking on picking on stragglers like this that have currently only got 45 guns they've only got 45 guns on their ships what's that 20 22 and 23 on each side either way bad times ahead for this ship I mean, when they've got little columns of straggler ships, that's not so much of a, an issue. Like the Dutch in the Caribbean, they've got a bunch of fifth rates. I don't really care about that. It's where they, when they mass their strengths together, that's what I want to stop. See, so you're quite vulnerable up there, Captain, because if I shoot that mass down, you're dead. Especially when you walk at the edge. But yeah. It's an overwhelming force just to make sure that things go the way we want them to go from the outset. Claiming another rigging. Yeah, don't blame you. That's a lot of in that's a lot of sails on the horizon. Okay, there we go. So he's turning to match us to get the first shot off, which is understandable. are aiming to close the distance so we have to accept the fact that we will be shot at first and this is why you sent overwhelming force because they can't stop all of the ships coming at them from all directions ready your broadside left In this first race is going to fire at will. These thirds are going to zoom along as well as a stern. Yes, they've already damaged my morale quite significantly, even with a handful of guns. Look at that. It remains to be seen how well their own ship will handle disappointment like this. ships sail as close as you can to a stern and get ready to pop a uh, chain shot when you get there yeah, you can hit my third rate but even crippled she'll still be dangerous like a wounded beast okay don't fire broadsides then if broadsiding is going to be too much of a Castle for you. Fire as she bears is the order of the day. She can't focus her firepower where she likes. The captain's still aboard. Suddenly, yeah, she's aware that she's under threat, so change of plan. My second rate, engage a chain shot. My third rate, give her a broadside. And this fourth rate, chain and pivot, switch the second rate to round shot. You're going to get a good shot into her mast, especially at full sail like that. Yeah, I'd climb down if I was you too, sir. <laughs> Devilishly close. Yeah, you send overwhelming force like this to make sure that she goes down. damage sustained during battle. We are going to continue. You're not going to escape. No, sir. Come on, get your guns reloaded. Go along, speedy fourth rate. You fire your guns. Oh! <laughs> so we dismastered her. You can see the crewmen. 
falling into the sea. Excellent. Bring her into service. Some of those ships got quite badly knackered, so oh, actually, uh, yes, you can't. Okay, right, all of you, fourth rate comes out of the fleet. So fourth rate, tag the trade zone to try keep it. Get you guys back to India. You are probably going to get killed by this fleet, but there's not a lot we can do about that. Sixty-seven thousand—that's quite a significant hit to our treasury. Ooh, no. Oh, okay, actually, you, my saw's really unhappy as it is, so it's going to be here somewhere. Heroic death. Oh, that's an, ad that's, that's an admiral or a captain, I suppose. Oh, the region lost was in in uh, in America. That panicked me for a minute. Okay, actually, what I might want to do is take you guys just wipe out these Dutch these uh, Barbary states fleets not interested in fighting them myself not interested in bringing them into my force either seamen getting to Gaza what I am interested in doing is taking this force here Pushing them towards Tunis. You may have to land off of the coast, which you are. You might actually be able to attack it this turn. Nope, sadly not. Let's get you back to Alexandria and let's get the Alexandria port upgraded. And this strong fleet here. Let's get you guys to blockade Safaki. Just to prevent that Barbary States fleet from moving. And then let's hop over to India. Oh yeah, they already don't like... They're not... Well, they're close to the bone. And it's going to get worse. So let's add a couple of levy units. It's a lot of industrialization here. You've only got to hold on for a little bit longer, my saw. So what are you waiting for? A set of camels? So guns, guns, guns. Let's go for... Two Hindu warriors, two Islamic swordsmen. Two Hindu musketeers and one Kizilbashi musketeer. 17,000. Okay, you're, you can, to be honest, start to head up to Russia. Okay, let's drop some more economy upgrades because we know we're going to need that sweet, sweet tax income. Oh, and also, get rid of the fishery. Let's recruit a sloop. Get rid of the fishery. recruit another sloop for two and a half thousand santo domingo we've got tobacco and we've also got cotton or sugar which based on my balance of trade is probably going to be coffee just to add a bit of variety then i can also add a basic road to santo domingo good okie dokie soon we'll have to well, we'll ship this agent actually that Jamaica's got no religious unrest as it is, so just deposit them off of the coast. Get to Santo Domingo. Well, they are starting to convert already, but yeah, it will be good to get rid of some of that religious unrest. But overall, it's okay. Yeah, some bonuses for my admirals. Fighting sailor, brave sailor, lots of good stuff. Then you're a battle fleet. Ready to rock and roll. 
you ships are not as useful but you may sit here just to prevent enemy troops from crossing the strait just to, as an extra um, insurance actually you may raid this but you're not able to leave just yet Egypt isn't able to do anything else yet. 239. Yeah, I'm, I'm acutely aware of the fact that right now we're just kind of eyeball to eyeball as whoever make Well, to be honest, they can crush me. They will crush me here. If they, if they attack me, I die. That's the crux of it. So I'm okay with that not happening for now. Yeah, if we can attack, take Santa Domingo, take Caracas, and then start to push down through South America, raise another force, and land in Florida. I think that would be worthwhile. I'd also like this army, when they get their elephants, to join these troops here and advance towards Madrid. I'm content. You can take Tunis. Eventually, Tripoli will... Eventually, Tripoli will chill out, and then this force will attack Algiers. And then this force will eventually take Tangier. And then Algiers' will force will probably attack Lisbon, and will probably perpetually blockade the Portuguese here until we want to deal with them. But yeah, then we'll have a wider front line against the Dutch. But for now, let us focus on harnessing our... <laughs> harnessing our might. Yeah, when the Dutch think they can take us. Ooh, take Lisbon. Yes, they did. Excellent. Um, okay, that makes things a lot easier on the peninsula. Uh, opportunity to intercept? Yes, I will. I'd rather intercept with this army. Let's see if they go... If they go west, let's see if I can grab them with a river battle. <laughs> you fools! So yeah, they, originally it was the Gibraltar garrison. Well, I think it was the Gibraltar garrison that was... Uh... <laughs> Gibraltar garrison that was withstanding us. Now it's the, it's the force that currently got sat on the bridge to the west, which is pretty ideal. So let's get down to it. We can set up, annihilate them on the river. Ah, oh, the rule. Three infantry to cover the bridge. They never seem that interested. Ah, oh, the great guns only have round shot. But they're going to be up here. Question is, do I... I mean, this is a bad idea, objectively. Let's take something like this. I'm not going to... This isn't my finished formation. Two-man will... Well, my... Because Obashi will be sat behind the lines as well. Okay. Elephant Musketeers can stay over here with a unit of Islamic swordsmen. But overall, well, like these gunners, ceasefire. Well, I suppose it, it, it is better, really. I think to spread out the spread out the load. But the AI never seems super bothered. I mean, I, I mean, I know. As soon as I say that, it's going to be ah, they're going for the bridge, and they are going for the bridge now. And they sometimes send a handful of troops over to contest it. They never go for it in numbers. My great guns go for the horse artillery 
will my current artillery go for the horse artillery as well? I'm getting some good flanking shots in against my... Oh, that's 30 Hindu Musketeers, actually. My massed formations. Will you kill the Hindu Musketeer? That'll be interesting. Ah, uh, you will. That's why you're not firing. And my great guns will count, will fight them. Some casualties are acceptable. You can begin to just blanket that area with canister shot. Yeah, so the reason why I deployed my Islamic swordsman by the Kizilbashi is because they're the only unit that can't fire, that can't form into square. All my guns focus on canistering the center. Lobbing shells high. Oh, you just missed. Although it appears like they don't really want to fire anymore. But yeah, there goes one conquistador unit. Reload his unit of mounted Spanish bandits. Curacier charging, brave men. But let's see how the bandits hold out. Blast them with canister shot. Musketry. Yeah, they don't like that. These dragoons have dismounted. Form regular infantry formations to engage them in a musket battle if that's what they want to do. There go the Spanish bandits. Here come the dragoons, cuirassier, conquistador. So it's the second regiment of dragoons that are attempting the first push. Oh, you're avoiding some shots. So this is the gamble. This is why it can. Oh my god, what are you doing? They dismounted only to. They charged only to dismount. Attack the cuirassier. Switch your fire! New men reload! This is exactly why I put my melee troops behind my guns. Those Hindu musketeers can form a square, get the Sapahi over on the left. I mean, you're getting at you, you're not doing so good. But a solid square formation will be, will cure what ails you. Yeah, Curacier, Curacier. Curacier are good units. But it's going to be when these guys try cross that we'll really make the money. Make sure my gunners are all a firing canister shot. B focus on the squares. Get my infantry out of here. My cavalry out of here, I should say. Gunners and so on. Form ranks. Who's that coming in? Conquistador. We knocked out one of their guns. They're currently in a bit of a skirmish battle with some of their dragoons who appear to join the submarine corps. Yeah, so 21 Curacier. They weren't going to stick around very long. Uh, you men can just reload. You will eventually start engaging enemy infantry like you always wanted. 
Conquistador is going to open fire. Skirmish cavalry behind the lines, so they can twang with their bows and so on. Excellent. This is one of two regiments of horse. This is their commander, actually. Oh, there goes his drummer. Watch out, they're going to cross the river. Oh, someone take him out, that'd be great. I'm shot from the saddle. You lucky swine. Here comes the infantry block. Expats. Foot guards. Grenadiers, Walloon Guards, Glorious. The skirmish with these Dragoons continues. So who's going to lead the charge across? 13th Regiment Irish Brigade. close to my guns, my skirmishers will begin firing bows at them. Yeah, there goes, there goes some units routing. You're blasting through the center. Let's begin to specifically attack some of these units because they're getting a bit close now. these Islamic swordsmen back from behind the guns. Charge the grenadiers. Oh, you fired it at a right angle and just went straight into your own men. So my guns cease fire. back the infantry so which one's the gunners that's currently you you're engaging fisticuffs hindu warriors attack second foot guards because they're routing through your line keep attacking them until they no longer wish to fight you men form up gunners canister sharp open fire on battlefield targets. Ha! Huh. You seem to be... Okay, right, there we go. Ooh, canister shot. They're coming back. Point blank range before they form up and attack you. Let you men get out of there. No, they fell back. Gunners engage the Walloon Guard. I suppose the lesson is that with Indian bridge battles, it appears they want to give them a lot more space. To spread out with on my bank and 
as a result, spread my own gunners out. That appears to be the name of the game. What are you guys under fire from? Nothing. No, maybe the guns are shooting at you. These gunners engage that square at point blank range. Nope, you're bugged, so. Islamic swordsmen have at it. To be honest, gunners have at it. Where's my Sipahi? Get in here. Cavalry committed to charge through the line. The skirmishers keep running on straight through. You guys stop firing. Make sure you guys attack guard mode off. I mean, camels are pretty useless trying to chase people down. Send my Islamic swordsman across the bridge because this musket battle is currently doing nothing. Well, that's pretty sneaky of them. Naturally, where I want to run is utterly blocked off by defensive stakes. will run around them. It appears these guys are going to start routing. But I mean, they're stuck under the bridge as far as I can see, which is highly unorthodox. I haven't seen that before. Yeah, we are going to continue. We're not going to do a huge amount of damage, but damage we will do. It's not going to be the most optimised damage either. That's an infantry destroyed. There's a Walloon Guard unit there that could be destroyed. But yeah, it's a lesson learned. Um, for the Indian battles, I want to definitely want to space my other forces out a bit more. Keep on running. Yeah, we're going to get some good kills here, actually. I was a bit concerned that originally we were going to miss them. But fortunately, they routed a very favourable direction. Two Walloon Guard left, one Walloon Guard left. So the last unit's all the way over there, it's horse artillery. So just use both these units to attack last unit of guerrillas or Spanish bandits I should say chomp yeah so a bit messy than I'd like but it's good to know good to know good learning experience bye bye yeah there we go that fourth rate bad luck fella we will be back though Spain we are not so easily cowed. But yeah, I want to get some... Get some more trade ships built. Get some more trade ships built. Open up the other flank. And what I mean about Spain is they've taken Lisbon. So that's answered one question for us. We will take Lisbon and we will take Madrid. It's not a question of what do we do about Portugal. Uh, Spain's rather handily done that for us. So we got 72,000. That's pretty good. You. Okay, you're going for the... Right, okay, right, right, right. You men pick up the camel. Pick up the uh, elephants. Get to that position there. Embark. Ships sail to Europe. 
this battle fleet can come back to Mangalore to be fully repaired. You got two sloops. Yeah, you're doing good. Really, I want a okay, right. So if you're gonna just do some healing, you recruit two fourths as well, because we're gonna want to start to recruit um, a lot of a lot more uh, trade fleets. And I want to do this by building fourths in regular ports and then make them all admirals and then recruit units to the fleet. Yeah, you're okay. You can hold the ground for now. Got some more defences built. We can upgrade. It's government building in Naples, but what I want to do is go over to Santo Domingo. No, not fishery. Trade port. Let's get my agent over to the to the capital. Keep everything upgraded. Upgrade the port. You upgrade to sugar. You upgrade to coffee. You recruited another sloop over here to secure San Juan. The army can replenish. Fleet arrives. So we've dealt with you. Fleet arrives. Oh right. No, sorry. You were now. You're going to occupy occupy a trade zone. Just stay away from. I thought they were on a trade zone. Trades gained. Good stuff. Yeah. So how do they feel about home rule now? Minus seven. Yeah, they still hate it. To be honest, you may as well exempt exempt from tax to get the town developed quicker. You may put Tunis under siege. I mean, right, you're probably going to kick off the next episode that way. Okay, you guys can now stand to fully reinforce. You get a brace of first rates. You men replenish. Actually, I don't know what I'm doing. You men replenish. Fairly sure we can pull out of Ankara now. Although you've got your one unit short. And you are more of a defensive unit anyway. War declared between Spain and the United Provinces. Interesting. Not necessarily good, but interesting. So if you pull back off of the bridge and replenish and position up threat. Can this force drive out from Gibraltar if I exempt you from tax? But to be fair, I can actually maybe I could... Yeah, something like that. You guys push towards Lisbon. Break the university. Oh no, you can't. You don't actually have the range. But you push on to Lisbon to put that under siege. Natural causes. Ah, sad. Upgrade the Ordnance Council. Okay, the name of the game is Deterrence. That's all it is. We want to deter... United Provinces from thinking they can attack us, while at the same time harassing their civilian shipping, because they appear to no longer have the uh, military. No, we only want one of you. Leave. Okay, finally. Oh, that's my port. Blockade their port. Okay, then I've got some other ships here. So these Jebex deploy 
to harass their coastline. Ooh, enemy Spanish fleet. Oh, I did it again. It selected all of the enemy sh all of my ships. It's like, no, I don't want to send all of my ships. Oh, raid Mallorca, because it's a dry dock. Good, that, so that's, that dockyard is now permanently out of use unless they ship infantry over to stop me. So you're pretty good. Send my agent along, because you're not needed there anymore. Uh, probably could stand to send... You, either of these would be better suited, but they're currently being repaired. So you guys can go and attack. What? Me? Am I going to auto resolve that? Maybe. Heavy War Galleon's fourth rate. Yeah, smash it. And then you're going to chase them down. And then this fleet may... Wow, there's troops stationed in Cartagena. Oh no, they're asking if we're going to be intercepted by the United... by the uh, Barbary State. We are not. You men sink that fleet. So now you guys take position in Sandy Bay. Okay, good stuff. So you're replenishing, in theory. You could, well, you'd better leave Santo Domingo almost immediately and then continue down to Caracas. Or do you take... No, I think you attack Caracas and push across. And then an army we build in Caracas can take Martinique and then start to attack the continental United States. So I need to up my troop production on the continent. So let's get... Actually, it's not a great steam-powered cotton mill. Because Avi Kayala is going to attack the garrison here at Tunis. But looking at the timer, I believe it's definitely time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Mysore. Cheers, everyone.